The popularity of robot mops has only grown over the last couple of years since this type of technology was first introduced. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and while early designs simply modified a robot vacuum to drag a damp cloth across your floors, companies have been innovating substantially to make dual-purpose vacuum and mopping robots that actually work a lot harder. That's the idea behind the Yeedy Mop Station Pro. I recently got my hands on a new Yeedy Mop Station Pro to test and review in my home. I'll tell you what it's like to set up and use, how effective the cleaning is or isn't, about its special features, and if I can recommend it for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things do help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. And if you want to read or reference this topic, or maybe share it with a friend, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com for the full write-up. What is the Yeedy Mop Station Pro? This robot floor cleaner is designed for hard floors and as a result it prioritizes the mopping over the vacuuming. When I say prioritize, the robot comes with two plates. One is a large 750 milliliter dust bin that is used for vacuuming only. If you want to prioritize the mopping, you can swap in the mopping plate, which has two wet cleaning pads plus a very small dust bin, so it will actually both vacuum and mop at the same time. Hopefully all that makes sense. You get the robot plus an auto mop refill cleaning and drying station, which also handles the charging. It uses a companion app to control the bot, schedule cleans, and to adjust settings. When you first get your robot, you do need to sign up for or sign in to the Yeedy app, and it will walk you through how to get your robot set up and connected to your home's Wi-Fi network. Then you want to send it out on a mapping mission. Allowing your robot to use its intelligence to generate that detailed map of your home will allow you to do zone or spot cleaning as well as enable scheduled cleaning of certain rooms on certain days if you like. Let's look at some of the key features of this bot. The major innovation in this bot, though it does exist in at least one other brand, is a dual spinning mopping pad. The mopping pads are made from woolly microfiber and are quite plush so they seem able to easily scrub even uneven floors. Yeedy says they spin at 180 times per minute, so they should have the ability to power off dried spills. The mop also has adjustable water flow, so you can use the Yeedy app to control the amount of water flowing through the mopping pads for a more thorough clean or one that would dry quicker. In a bit of a departure from other mopping robots, the mopping tank is not visible nor accessible to you, so it must live somewhere deep inside the robot, but that's okay because the mop station will fill the tank for you. You can actually hear this gurgling away as it fills the onboard mopping tank before the robot heads out for a mopping mission. The second innovation is the self-cleaning and drying ability for those mopping pads, since there's no sense in running dirty, stinky cloths over your floor. After the robot has cleaned your floors, the Yeedy Mop Station Pro will wash and rinse the mopping pads and then suction away the dirty water for dumping later. Two 3.5 liter water tanks hold both clean water and your wastewater separately, and after washing the pads, the Mop Station Pro will dry the mops to keep odors from building up. Let's start with the vacuuming. The 750 milliliter larger dustbin for vacuum only mode is actually much bigger than most robot vacuums on the market, which means it stores more dust for less emptying. And that's actually kind of key because the mop station does not have automatic dustbin emptying. When I said earlier that this bot prioritizes mopping, this is one of the ways it does that. It prioritizes the mops refilling and servicing over automatic dustbin emptying. So while bots like the Ecovacs D-Bot X1 Omni and Roborock S7 Max V Ultra will evacuate the onboard vacuum dustbin, the Yeedy Mop Station Pro will not. And truthfully, that is a bit disappointing. Something that came up in my testing is that because it's on you to empty the dustbin, if you forget and it gets over full, it can clog up the intake pretty badly. More than once, I thought it wasn't performing well, so I took things apart and found too much dirt and hair clogging up the works. A word to the wise, frequent dustbin emptying is going to be key for optimal vacuum operation. When it comes to robot mops, one of the last things you want is for it to roll over your carpet and soak them. Fortunately, the Yeedy Mop Station Pro has a carpet sensor. In my testing with this, it is noticeable right away. If the mopping plate is installed, the vacuum will only venture its nose onto your carpet, just enough to detect it, then it'll back away and keep the mopping pads off. This feature actually worked really, really well in my testing. 
In vacuuming mode and with the mop removed, the bot will increase its suction to max power for deeper carpet cleaning. The Yeedy Mop Station Pro has a built-in 5200 milliamp hour battery that fuels up to 180 minutes of runtime on a single charge. That is a large size battery and excellent battery life. The bot will automatically recharge and resume cleaning if it needs to if you're using it in a larger space. Since my home is only about a thousand square feet, the robot was easily able to clean that space on a single charge. Let's get to how well this robot cleans. I put all my robot floor cleaners through the same tests. I'll sprinkle finer flour, middle-sized bits like rice or oatmeal, and larger cracker pieces on both carpet and hard floors to test the vacuuming. To test the mopping, I'll spill things like red wine and let coffee dry. On hard floors in mopping mode, it missed part of this red wine spill and never came back to finish the job. But in a later coffee spill, it was able to mop it all up. I ran a few more tests and it was able to wipe up almost everything, but in some cases it did leave enough behind that it was noticeable. On tile in vacuum mode, on one particular dry spill of oats, it scattered most of that with its spinning brush and never got back to vacuuming it up, but another time it did. On carpets, I found it was similarly on and off. Sometimes it would do an okay job, other times not so much. I actually ended up changing the settings on the bot to clean spaces twice, and I found that actually went a long way towards improving the overall cleaning performance. So when it comes to whether or not I'd recommend this bot, it's got some good qualities and some concerns, so I'm pretty torn. On the pro side, it mapped my home very quickly, but I wasn't able to properly divide my largest room. I do like the design a lot and the looks of this bot, and it fits into my house nicely. I like that it both vacuums and mops at the same time, and I think the plush mopping pads can be very effective, plus there's really big water tanks. It will both vacuum and mop at the same time, though on the downside, its dual-purpose dustbin does only hold so much dust when it's in mopping mode. The mopping quality was really good overall, and the vacuuming, though sometimes not great on hard floors, was better on carpets and rugs, and the dustbin proves it picks up a lot of dirt. Other downsides? I do wish the mop station was also able to handle the automatic emptying of the onboard dustbin. As I noted, you can get that from other robots like the Ecovacs D-Bot X1 Omni and the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra, but those do cost almost double what this one does. In short, there's actually a lot of features packed into this bot for a decent price, and the cleaning power is quite strong, but I think there's enough red flags on this one to say you'll want to wait for Generation 2 or some major improvements to the firmware. The Mop Station Pro sells for about $749, but I have seen it for much less at times. Want to know how this bot compares to some other popular brands? Check out my review of the top-rated Ecovacs D-Bot X1 Omni to see how it stacks up, or try to see how it stands up against an iRobot Roomba right now.